what is all this? Don't worry, I got you. All you gotta do is go into the description and click the link below for my intro video. Now, for those of you that do know who I am, welcome back to Brunch Bites. We are gonna do something a little different today. You wanna spice things up a bit. Yeah, I know it's only the second episode, but you know I gotta keep it fresh. I gotta keep it exciting for you. Today, we're gonna be doing the very first Brunch Bites quiz. That's right. Every now and again, I'm gonna, you know, throw in a little pop quiz that ties into the theme of where we're gonna be going today. Now, let's get into the very first quiz of Brunch Bites. Which one of these is not Fables? It's the name of the restaurant that we'll be heading to today. Now heads up, you will have to transfer. You can take the 4 train to Kingsbridge Road, or you can do what I did and take the BX3 to West 238th Street and Broadway. Then from here, you would transfer to the BX9 to go to West 246th Street and Broadway. But I decided to walk. Hey, this lady figure is not going to keep itself. So as you approach the restaurant, you're going to see this really cool statue out there. It ties in with theme. I absolutely love that. And then this is going to be your view from that statue across the street in front of the restaurant. So this is going to be the exact location. Your brunch bill is going to be between $30 and $35. You've got two hours. And you could do a la carte, which means if you don't want to kill your liver like I like to do, you don't have to. So this is the interior of this gastro pub. You see that nobody is here because I got here early. So I was able to get that extra special service. So of course, Bellini first. Now this is closer to a proper Bellini. While Ella's was not as bad at all, they use peach puree while tortoise and hare use peach juice. You can tell by the coloring and the ingredients, but oh, the bacon, if it's on the menu, I'm gonna order it. And while it was cooked exactly the way I like it, it's not seeing Ella. Uh, it wasn't bad, but it was just a different kind of bacon. But y'all, we have got to talk about this Nutella toast. Oh yeah, we've got two slices of hella bread smothered in this Nutella goodness, and I switched my drink to a grapefruit mimosa. And oh my goodness, that first bite, guys, it was amazing. Oh, look, I broke out into a shimmy. It was so good. Now on to the grapefruit mimosa. Now, I took a small sip, and I realized I didn't get a real good, good taste because I still had that Nutella goodness in my mouth, but I go in for a bigger sip, and of course, I approve. Now, the main entree, a classic of brunch staple, the Eggs Benedict with smashed avocado, hash browns, and some coleslaw on the side. Oh, look at that, yo! Look at it, guys, let's dig in. Of course, I must try the sides first. I actually really like this coleslaw. I feel like it has some pick of the dial ingredients mixed in that made it so, so refreshing. And alrighty, we're going in for the kill with that Egg Benedict, and it is divine. But we've gotta add that smashed avocado on top, and let's see how that turns out, and Woo! Can we say Slade? Taste but goodness. And oh yeah, oh, the Bloody Mary. Oh now, away with you, Olive. 
No olives in my Bloody Mary. Now I asked them to make it not too spicy and they delivered. So it wasn't too bad for Bloody Mary. Okay guys, that's it. Let's go into the overall experience wrap up. Where can I find you guys on social media?